श्री राम चंद्र भगवान की जय हरे कृष्णा एवरीवन आई एम काव्य बुद्धि राजा एंड वेलकम बैक टू बीइंग कृष्णा कॉन्शियस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट व्हिच इज डस गॉड रियली मिस मी एंड हाउ डू आई नो इफ ही मिसेस मी और नॉट वेल एज वी आर अबाउट टू वेलकम द लॉर्ड ऑफ आर लाइव श्री राम चंद्र भगवान इन जस्ट अ फ्यू डेज लेट मी टेल यू from the very sweet pastimes of shri ram himself in this particular regard so without any further delay let us begin with this beautiful beautiful video hari hari bol according to shrimad bhagavatam shri ram sacrificed something which a normal person like you and me cannot even think of you know just imagine the next day you are about to get your respective share from your father's property and a night before you were told firstly you're not going to get that property and secondly you have to go for exile for about one year well here we're talking about only one year but let's not forget the number of years that shri ram chandra bhagwan along with his eternal consort sita maiya and his younger brother lakshman had to spend in exile these overnight reversals are something that we can't even think of the level of sacrifice the level of love and it's very interesting to note that a night before when shri ram was being told about this particular thing that what he's supposed to do the next day shri ram never hesitated he simply smiled and and thanked his parents that my dear father i'm so fortunate that in this particular lifetime i'm getting to serve you i'm getting to fulfill the vow that you had given to mother kekai so this was the level of love that shri ram had see there's a very beautiful comparison in shrimad bhagavad gita shri krishna mentions shitoshna sukh dukh da hey arjun every living entity should tolerate sukh happiness and dukh distress just like we tolerate the changing weathers like summer and winter so krishna instructed it but shri ram chandra bhagwan showed it by his own example he was not dukhi and also even when he was told that he would be the next ruler or the next king of ayodhya he was not on cloud 9 so he was tolerating both happiness and distress what happened next was quite astonishing now we all know that mother sita was never instructed to accompany ram to the forest she was never told that way and neither was lakshmana but what happened because sita ma is so loyal she so pativrata that she was perfectly okay to you know go through all the sufferings and hardships but she was not okay to be bereft from the association of the lord and this is what the heart of a pure devotee is just like there's a beautiful past time wherein the gopis are asked that dear gopis shri krishna's head is aching and he needs the dust from the lotus feet of his pure devotees only then his headache would be relieved when narad muni went to all other personalities such as shiva brahma the the wives of shri krishna in dwarka all of them refused because they said that we can't let the dust of our feet touch the forehead of the supreme lord krishna we can never do that but the gopis on the other hand said we are perfectly fine even if this counts as an aparad as an offense and even if we have to you know suffer from all the hardships and difficulties in nark or in hellish planets but if we can contribute in relieving the headache of our beloved krishna then we are okay with that this is the parikashta of love the parikashta of true devotion unto the lotus feet and that is what sita maiya also did without thinking about anything she just left everything and all the luxuries at once we cannot imagine the level of comforts that ma sita had but she gave up everything for the lord and this is what a real devotee does he gives up everything which takes him away from the lord and he does all those things even if they are filled with hardships and difficulties but if those particular activities take him towards the lord then the devotee is perfectly all right and same way lakshman also did 
Now we all know how Ravan came in the bhesh of a sanyasi, a sadhu, and how he abducted Mother Sita and took her to Lanka. And then he kept Sita Ma in Ashok Vatika for many, many months. Now one has to see here the loyalty of Sita Maya. She had a very great opportunity because she was promised by Ravan himself, Lankesh Ravan himself, Dear Sita, please kindly accept my company and come with me to the palace. I promise you to give you better title than Mandodri. But what did Sita Ma do? She never accepted the company of Ravan. She was always loyal to Sri Ram. And she used to cry for the mercy of the Lord that, Dear Lord, I am only yours. Please kindly come and save me. It's only you who can get me away from the clutches of these Rakshasas and everyone around me. This is what she prayed. And she had full faith that Sri Ram Chandra would definitely come and rescue her. She was so confident and faithful in that. Now, do you remember the initial question that I posed when I started this video? It was, does God really miss us? To answer that, we have before us the conduct or the behavior of Sri Ram Chandra Bhagavan when he was in separation from Sita Ma. Sri Ram was crying. He was calling out for Sita in all directions. He did everything to save Mother Sita. Well, one could ask that he was the son of Dasharath, the great king of Ayodhya. And he was obviously the ruler of Avad as well. So why was he so attached to his wife? One can ask that question. Well, it is not about the attachment of one mere mortal to another mere mortal. No, it's about the pangs of separation that Lord himself suffers from when he is not in the association of his devotee. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Ye yathamam prapadyante tams tathaiv bhajami ham Just as how a devotee serves me, I reciprocate in equal or in proportionate manner. If my devotee is serving me and he surrendered unto me, say 90%, I would reciprocate in the equal ratio, that is 90%. And here is the example of Mother Sita who is cent percent surrendered unto the lotus feet of the Lord. Then don't you think that as per the instructions of the Bhagavad Gita that Krishna himself gave, ye yathamam prapadyante tams tathai vajami ham, the Lord himself Shri Ram Chandra Bhagavan was in excruciating pain, suffering from the pangs of separation from his eternal consort and his utmost devotee, Srimati Sita Devi. So to answer the question, does God miss us? Yes, he does miss us. In fact, more than us. But the only thing which can even make Sri Ram Chandra make an entire bridge named Ram Setu to rescue and save his dear most devotee and his beloved consort Sita Maya is the loyalty and surrender that Sita Maya had toward Sri Ram Chandra Bhagwan. And this is what we all require as well. Sincerity in our heart and determination in our endeavors to please Sri Ram Chandra Bhagavan. And as Ram Bhagavan in just a few days is arriving in the Vishal temple of Avad, the Ram Mandir, it is time for all of us to pray unto that supreme personality, Sri Ram? No, Sita Maya, to give us just just a bindu, just a point of her surrender and love that she has towards Sri Ram Chandra Bhagwan. And if we are successful in that, if we get just, just 0.0001% of what Sita Maya has towards Sri Ram, then let me tell you that this human form of life is going to be a definite, definite success. So let's awaken the Ayodhya of our heart and then celebrate this wonderful occasion of real Diwali, of welcoming Sri Ram Chandra Bhagavan along with his consort Sita Ma, his younger brother Lakshman and of course his dear dear devotee Sri Hanuman. Let us welcome all of them in the Ayodhya of our heart and celebrate this Diwali with lots of devotion and the feeling of surrender unto the lotus feet of Lord Sri Ram. And that is how we will truly welcome the king of Ayodhya, Sri Ram. Jai Jai Sri Ram. All glories to Srila Prabhupada, Nitai Gaur Premanande, Hari Bol, Hare Krishna. Yeah. 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 Yeah.